Are you a talented footballer with the potential to go all of the way, but you've never been spotted or had a trial? Well, all you need to do is check out a brand new innovative business that I've started with my partners called Scout Size. It gives you a chance to get spotted by our network of scouts to try and get you a trial at a professional club. Scout Size places you in front of a professional scout who will assess your talent. You simply need to visit our website right now and upload your clips as directed. Our scouts will then view them and give you a full assessment. If you meet a certain criteria, your details will be sent to scouts at professional football clubs for them to come and see you play. It's as simple as that. So visit scoutsize.com right now and send in your clips and a scout could be coming to watch you play at your next game. Welcome along to AFTV Transfer Daily, the show that keeps you up to date with players that we live with a summer transfer move to Arsenal. Hi and welcome along to AFTV Transfer Daily, the show that keeps you up to date with players that have been linked with a summer transfer move to Arsenal. First of all, let's just big up some of our players that have been playing at the Euros. Um, big up going out to David Raya. Clean sheet yesterday started for Spain. They had a much changed team. They were already through in that group. But a clean sheet for him. So well done to Ray. Made some good saves in the game as well. Um, Jorginho. What a game that was, by the way. That Italy game versus Croatia. The most dramatic ending. I mean, the Italians done it again in the last kick, the last second of the game to win that. Um, and they're through to the next stages. Jorginho progresses with Italy. Um, however, it weren't a great night for Brazil. Brazil drawing nil-nil with Costa Rica. Um, Martinelli came on right near the end um, to try and grab a winner. Um, there was also uh, Gabriel Magalhães didn't actually play in the game. He was on the bench. So they didn't really play much of a part in it, but very disappointing for Brazil. Um, <laughs> you think England are going to get criticism. They're going to get absolutely slaughtered for that. Um, and talking of England, England playing today... Good luck going out to Declan Rice and Saka. Both of them been under big pressure, along with all the other England team. They really need to put in a performance tonight. But lots of our players on international duty at the moment, so good luck to all of them. Now, on the transfer front, we heard about this one um, last night. Serho Garassi of Stuttgart, uh, who we've spoken about extensively on the show many a times. Remember, incredible Goal scoring record last year, 30 goals in 30 appearances. Any team across Europe is going to be like, what? Who's this, right? Um, now, according to Sky Sports, um, they're reporting yesterday that he has decided he wants to leave Stuttgart. He definitely wants to leave Stuttgart and he's choosing between three teams. There are loads of teams interested in him, but there's three teams in particular that he's going to choose between. Borussia Dortmund, AC Milan, or Arsenal. One of those three teams are the teams that he wants to join. Remember, he has a £17 million release clause, which is effectively, come on, in today's market, for a guy who scored 30 goals in 30 appearances. I know he's 28. That is very, very cheap. Dortmund said to be the favourites, but should Arsenal make a move for Garassi? When you consider that price and his goal scoring record last season. When you consider the fact that um, Eddie Nketiah looks like he's definitely going to be sold and that will be pure profit and that will be more than that £17 million release clause. All right, Garassi may not come in as the main striker, but certainly if you've got a Garassi on the bench um, or as a backup striker, that is a great option for only £17 million. Will Arsenal make a move? Let's see. There's also the Victor Gorkarez one who we've been speaking about for many, many days. We know about his incredible goal scoring record, the, the you know, biggest goal scorer in the European football last season. Now, there's been speculation, and it came from a publication called Leone over in Portugal that um, Arsenal are in advanced talks to sign him. Anything from, you know, 75 million up to 100. Listen, name your price. However, Fabrizio Romano uh, yesterday talking on this one. And according to him, he says that there are no, you know, advanced talks yet. They're not in advanced talks. This is what he's saying. Um, so no advanced talks, according to what he's saying for Gorkarez, although he does say Arsenal are interested in signing him. Um, so <laughs> covers himself off neatly there, you know. No, there's no advanced talks. Nothing's happening. It's not advanced as what people are saying, but... Yeah, there is interest. So if it does happen, 
he still don't look bad. You know, you get this politics in this game. But um, said to be um, a price tag again of £85 million, which is a lot of money for a player that's had one amazing season. Do you take that gamble? But Fabrizio Romano claiming no advanced talks, just a lot of interest from Arsenal at the moment. So again, we wait and see on that one. What about Victor Osimhen in his search for a striker? We've known of this uh, release clause said to be 105 million, even quotes that, that release clause 125 million. It's mad. It is absolutely mad. But the Italian outlet, um, Calcio Mercato, claiming yesterday that um, Napoli are willing to sell him for 85 million, that they're willing to drop their price to 85 million for Victor Osimhen. I think they realise that they're not going to get that over £100 million price tag. All the normal clubs that may come in for that, your Chelsea's and teams like that and cities are not interested. No one's coming for that big fee and they're willing to drop it to £85 million. They're keen to get a deal done for Romelu Lukaku. Um, and Osimhen available for £85 million. Is that too expensive for Arsenal still, even at that price? Or will Arsenal you know, be boosted by that and say, right, let's go in and, and make a move for him. What do you guys think? 85 million? For me, if it's 85 million Osimhen, 85 million Gorkares, surely you go for Osimhen. Because to me, um, has done it over a sort of longer period of time, but going to be interesting. 85 million Victor Osimhen should Arsenal go and get him. Lots of people have been suggesting on some of the shows that I've done recently is that why don't then Arsenal try and like, you know, gets a wide player in. And we all know the Nico Williams won. Uh, Nico Williams was a sub yesterday in the game um, for Spain, but, you know, being described by Rio Ferdinand as the best player so far at the Euros. He's been absolutely electric. Another player who's done well at the Euros and we've seen week in, week out in the Premier League, who's a top player, is Pedro Neto. Now, according to Football Transfers, they're claiming that Wolves are willing to sell him for £43 million. That's a real knockdown price when you consider that, you know, in January, they were looking for 70 to £80 million for him. They're willing to sell him for £43 million this summer. Um, and Arsenal are keen on a deal, but on one condition. They want a full medical assessment first. And that would make perfect sense because Neto has had a really bad injury record since he's been at Wolves. You know, he, he comes in doing brilliantly and the next minute, bang, he's out. And he was out last season for a long period of time. But when he's playing, he is one of the most exciting wingers in the Premier League. He really is dynamic. I think he'd be brilliant at Arsenal. Notice for Spain, he's been playing out on that um, left-hand side as well as the right-hand side. So he can play both sides and his pace is electric. Um, Newcastle also interested in him as well, but um, Arsenal, keen, but a full medical assessment for, I mean, you do a medical anyway, don't you? Um, but maybe they want to see stuff beforehand before they make a move. They want to make sure it's no sort of long-term injury, um, you know, problems with the player. Um, I spoke about Mikel Marino yesterday um, on the show, and this one seems to be hotting up. It seems to be like one of these ones, a bit like the Havertz one last year, where nobody was sort of talking about it. And then it just sort of comes out of the blue and you're like, oh, that's a bit strange. Because Mikko Marino plays for Rio Sociedad. And everybody's sort of been thinking of Arsenal like after Zubamendi um, at Sociedad. But in that midfield with Zubamendi is Marino. As a matter of fact, the two of them played together last night for Spain in that midfield. Now, Marino's more of a sort of box-to-box -box midfielder. But um, he's a left-sided um, midfielder, a bit like what Granit Xhaka was for Arsenal before he left. We did kind of miss that last season. Now, according to Sports, the uh, publication over in Spain, they claim that Arteta has personally contacted Marino over a move to Arsenal. He's very keen on the player. Now, Sports were saying earlier in the transfer window that he's set to go to Barcelona, that Barcelona want to sign him. But according to Sport, Arteta's personally contacted him and also there's rumours that he's very keen on a move to Arsenal. So we have to watch this space on that one. Despite that big valuation that you see there, 
it is said that you um, Arsenal could get him for around about £21 million. Pounds. 28 now, a very experienced player. He did actually play for Newcastle back in 2017. 23 caps for Spain. He, he played for them um, last night. As I said, he played the whole game for them. Uh, doesn't normally be like the, the start. Obviously, you've got guys like, um, you know, uh, Rod, Rodri in there. But... Um, yeah, he's, he's a lot of interest from Arsenal and these reports that Arteta has personally contacted him about a move. Let's watch this space on that one. We know that Arsenal keen on um, a, a midfield um, player. Bruno Gimares is another player that Arsenal would love to bring in. And we all know about this £100 million release clause that he has. However, that has now expired. That expired last night, midnight last night. That is done that means that if you want to buy Bruno Gimmerich now, you can no longer just go and activate that release clause and go and talk to him and stuff like that. You're going to have to go and talk with Newcastle. And they might set it higher. Now, of course, you know, it could also be lower. Because when you think about it, why did nobody activate that release clause? Just because, it, you know, at the end of the day, ridiculously high. And nobody was willing to pay that. Man City said to be the favourites to sign him. They didn't go near it. Nobody's gone near it. Could that price lower? Could Arsenal make a move for him? And again, this is one that's affected by the fact that he's away at the Copa America with Brazil. He played for Brazil last night. But that £100 million release clause now expired for Bruno Guimaraes. And Arsenal have confirmed um, a new contract for Karl Hein, uh, Arsenal's third goalkeeper. He has signed a new deal with Arsenal, so he will be staying at Arsenal. Whether they'll send him out on loan or whether they'll keep him We'll have to wait and see. But Carl Hein staying at Arsenal, signed a new deal um, yesterday. So some little bit of activity um, at Arsenal. But we're all waiting with bated breath for the big deals to start rolling in. Right? That's what we want to see. Um, listen, don't forget, we're going to be doing another AFTV Transfer Daily Extra. If you want to be notified of, of to when that is happening, sign up right now to Playback. Playback is a brand new live platform that we've been doing lots of content on. Um, and you get a chance to come on live and speak to me. It's really, really good. So sign up to it right now. Um, the link is in the description. We're going to be doing another um, AFTV um, one. I think it's going to be either today or tomorrow. So, but, but if you want a notification, sign up right now and don't miss a thing. And I would love you to come on and tell me what you think. Ossiman for 85 million. Should we make a move for him? Marino. Is that a, a deal that should be done? All these sort of things I want to find out from you guys how you're feeling about it. Thanks for watching the show and I'll see you tomorrow.